Next point, you know, we have 10 million job openings. We're not letting anybody in. How would you look at immigration? Obviously, we have people coming in the southern border illegally. And then we have H-1B visas. And now Canada is saying, hey, we'll steal all those H-1Bs. We'll take them. So how do you look at yeah. immigration to Chamath's question? Merit-based immigration. I mean, one of the things that Canada does have, and I'm not a fan of America imitating Canada or anything like this in, in most respects, but they do have <laughs> a point-based system, right? They have a point-based system. And yep. so I think the point-based system should work differently in the US, but I do favor merit-based immigration. I I'm a little bit of a departure from what I think is the Republican consensus here. You know, people I respect, Tom Cotton and others have proposed bills with a hard cap on the number of immigrants. I think it's a mistake. I think that the cap should declare itself based on how many people meet the meritocratic criteria. Where what I'm are a the little top different qualities then yep. for what, what would be yeah. your top criteria in this point based system? Two criteria skills that match up to job openings in the United States. But secondarily, and this one's important to me, I would move the civics portion of becoming a citizen to the front end of even being granted a visa to enter this country. And I think that addresses and accommodates. An important part of the concern that many people who are pro-immigration cap actually favor is I think there are legitimate concerns about the dilution, the loss of a national identity. But a lot of that is conflated with first the cycle of illegal immigration. I'm a hardliner on this. I favor putting the US military on the southern border. I've said I would use it on the northern border. I believe that, that we are on strong constitutional and legal authority to do it. I do not think building the wall was enough. There are cartel finance tunnels underneath that wall that vehicles literally run through today. So in some ways, I'm going further than Trump in this direction. But simultaneously, debureaucratize, speed up the process for merit-based immigration. But part of merit includes not just skills, but also civic commitments to the country. And I'm, you know, I used the word nationalist before. I know that scares some people. I mean it in a positive way. I think every high school student in this country should have to pass the same civics test that an immigrant has to pass in order to become a citizen of this country. I also would favor bringing that on the front end, and it selects for the kind of people who know something about the country when they enter, which I think so is a good thing. people it should assimilate, and they should love this country in order to come into the country? Yes, I do. I think, I think you should Pretty want to come here to be an American.